In this segment, we'll talk about how the helix of a tool influences the performance of that tool. Now, the cutting geometry of a tool is critical to the edge finish and tool life, but the helix angle is also as important. Onzer's three primary helixes is an upcut, downcut, and straight tool. An upcut helix draws the chips from the tip of the tool towards the shank. This helps evacuate chips resulting in a smooth edge finish. The drawback of an upcut helix is that it tends to lift up on small parts resulting in part movement. Upcut spirals are our number one choice in plastics since chip evacuation is critical to preventing chip rewelding. When cutting wood, an upcut spiral may cause fraying on the top edge of the workpiece since there is nothing there to support it. A downcut helix is designed to push chips from the shank of the tool towards the tip. This helps hold smaller parts down on the table and prevent part movement. When cutting plastic, chip rewelding can occur if there is no groove in the spoil board. Now the groove gives the chips a place to fall into and expand and prevents it from being recut by the tool. When cutting wood, a downcut spiral compresses the top edge of the material which results in a smooth, fuzz-free edge. Straight tools are the last style. These do not lift or push down on the workpiece and result in a neutral cutting action. Straight tools are very popular for cutting small parts when the customer does not want to put a groove in a spoil board. They are also very popular on five-axis machining where part vibration is generally an issue. The drawback to a straight helix is that the edge finish may not be as good as an upcut or downcut spiral. And that is because the tool is only engaged in the workpiece half the time, as where with the spiral tool, one portion of the flute is always engaged in the workpiece at all times. Now a general rule is if you're cutting a part which is one foot by one foot or smaller, part holding may be an issue, so you want to use a straight or a down cut to help prevent the part from lifting. If you're cutting anything larger than a foot by a foot, then I recommend you go with an upcut spiral because you want to evacuate the chips and get the best edge finish possible. Now based off your part holding method and your vacuum, these sizes may vary a little bit.